Hey guys, Russ Richardson here. Got the all new 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. Just came off the truck about five minutes ago. Didn't even get a chance to wipe it down or clean it off because I wanted to bring the review right to you guys as soon as I could. If you haven't already seen the 2019 or 2020 Lincoln Nautilus, um, the exterior has remained virtually the same for 2021. This is a mid-year refresh, so most of the changes and the exciting things going on are going to be on the inside. But if you haven't seen the Nautilus, going to highlight a couple things on the exterior here. You have Lincoln's signature grill. Um, all of Lincoln's vehicles are wearing this, this new grill right here. You can also see you have the little Lincoln logos inside of the grill. It's a nice little hidden feature. You also have your LED headlamps along with the Lincoln Embrace. The Lincoln Embrace is when you walk up to the car, the daytime running lamps come on, the door handles illuminate, and it projects Lincoln logos on the side of the car. This is the standard model, so it does ride on the 18 inch rims. And then you also have your Nautilus side badging here. It's a really nice look. This Nautilus here is outfitted in the pristine white, along with the ebony interior, which we'll be taking a look at in a minute. Along with some of your other standard features, you have your remote start and you have your power lift gate here. It goes up and down with the click of a button. I also like that the, the rear camera has a washer on it. So when your camera gets dirty, especially if you live in Pittsburgh, you know, with the salt on the roads and all that snow, they get dirty. You can actually just spray your rear camera off with your washer fluid. Really, really convenient feature there. Standard on every 2021 Lincoln Nautilus is Lincoln's Co-Pilot 360 package. What's included in that is a backup camera, a lane keeping system, blind spot information system, automatic high beams, and automatic braking. Some other standard features included in every Lincoln Nautilus is going to be heated seats, keyless entry, a massive 13.2 inch touchscreen, and a ton more guys. So like I said, the exciting stuff in the new 2021 Nautilus is on the inside, so let's check out the new interior. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of the 2021 Lincoln Nautilus. And like I said, this is a full redesign on the interior. Um, you no longer have the touchscreen integrated into the dashboard. You have that iPad stand up look that a lot of people have been loving lately. So let me go ahead and turn it on. As you can see here, they moved the shifter from being over here. You still have the push buttons, but it just it looks a little nicer. Um, if you're unfamiliar with these, these are modeled after high-end piano keys they all have, kind of have a different feel to them they all feel really premium too real clicky i like clicky buttons right. so you can see nautilus pretty sweet huh so this is sync 4 this is lincoln's newest form this is our latest and greatest technology um a lot of cool things going on here let me go ahead and hook up the apple the wireless apple carplay all right guys, got the Apple CarPlay connected and as you can see, this is wireless. There's no wires attached. You can do everything you can normally do in any car that has Apple CarPlay, just with no wires, which makes it really awesome. You can pull up any of your apps that you have, Waze, um, any messaging apps. You can send all your text messages, voice command. You can use Siri to ask her a question if you hold the voice command button in. Hey Siri, what's the weather gonna be today? Cloudy and 54 degrees. Expect rain starting in the morning and cloudy skies in the afternoon. Temperature. So you can do a ton of things with the Apple CarPlay, which is really awesome. You can see my text messages are coming through. If I if I click on that, it's going to read it out to me, and I can reply via voice command, which is really cool. This is the standard Nautilus, so there is a really cool navigation system that this comes with, just not in the standard model. So when we receive one that has a navigation, I will be making a video. Um, and I really like this up here too. You wanna get a shot of this real quick? Just, just right in here, this is redesigned too. This just gives a really nice look kind of in line with how the Navigator and the Aviator and Corsair kind of have this floating command center here with all the climate controls and your heated seats and everything. Um, but that's it for today's video. This is just a quick overview on the standard Nautilus. Um, when we get like the black labels and the reserves and I'll definitely be making some more videos, but I know a lot of people have been excited to just see what this looks like in person and in video. So I'm going to get this posted, get this uploaded for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe.